Happy New Year guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope your year has been going good so far. We're already in the second month of the year. Thank God. It <laughs> took January took forever. But I hope you guys have been working towards your goals, the goals that you set for this year. Um, my one goal was to make sure that I make at least 12 videos this year and this is going to be my first video. In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys my favorite slash staple products, the products I've been using throughout my healthy hair journey um, i'll be grouping them into shampoos conditioners deep conditioners and finally the styling products so we might as well just get right into it to start off i'm going to be sharing with you my shampoos i use the ors creamy aloe shampoo and the cream of nature sulfate free moisture and shine shampoo when I first started my healthy hair journey, I used to use this shampoo every week and this shampoo every four weeks. Um, but now you know that I actually wash my hair once a month or once in two, once every two months. So then I use both of them at the same time. The reason why I used to use this once every four weeks and why now I use both of them together rather than one or the other is because this shampoo is very neutralizing and by that I mean that it cleanses your hair properly but leaves it feeling very, very dry. It moisturizes and neutralizes the hair, leaving it tangle free and soft after every shampoo. It can be used as both a neutralizing and a moisturizing shampoo. As I said, neutralizing yes, but moisturizing no, because it leaves your hair dry. And that's why I then follow up with this one. After I have put this on my scalp and dragged it down, I rinse that over off. I follow up the second wash with this one, which is free formula nourishes and adds exotic shine while gently cleansing and detangling the hair. After this has taken out all the moisture and left my hair very dry, I use this because it still cleans the hair, puts back a little bit of moisture, just to keep my hair feeling softer. And then my conditioners are, of course, the follow-ups, the shampoos, the intensive conditioning treatment from Cream of Nature, the argan oil, and the ORS replenishing conditioner. Again, when I used to Back in the day, when I used to wash my hair every week, I just reached, I used to reach for this whenever I felt like basically it was one week I would use both, one week I'll use only one, one week I'll use the other one. Yeah, however I felt like I, I used this. But now I use this mainly in my protein protein treatments. Both are moisturizing shampoos, but they do have a little bit of protein in them. Whenever, so whenever I mix my um, avocado with coconut milk, I always add a little bit of these just so that I can give it a little bit of a kick of moisture. It says at the back of this that you should use after shampooing your hair with the cream of nature shampoo, of course. Apply generous amounts to the hair and comb through for even distribution. Place a plastic cap over the hair and sit under a warm with a dryer for 10 to 15 minutes. Rinse thoroughly and follow with any cream of nature with, with argan oil or styling products and this one says again of course use after shampoo with the ORS shampoo apply a generous amount of the hair and comb through for thorough distribution place a plastic cap over the hair and sit on, on a warm dryer for 10 to 15 minutes or leave on the hair for 45 to one hour without heat I use both of them or I mix a little bit of both of them into my protein treatment just to give my protein treatment a little bit of moisture kick. Because I, for some reason, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I always feel like I don't want my hair to be... I want to put protein on my hair, but I also don't want to lose the moisture. So I always put a little bit of a moisture. But now I'm thinking about that, I feel like that's the reason why maybe my hair is a bit too moisturized. The fear of my hair drying out has left my hair too moisturized, i.e. too elastic. So I have to figure out a way to solve that and um, start using just pure protein treatment and see when I can fix this into my room. Next is my dip conditioner. It's the share moisture. Oh my god, everybody used to rave a lot about share moisture and I never got on top of that until I found this new product. I think it was, um, I think I first saw natural 85 using this product. I think she was the first person I saw using this product. It's the Share Moisture's Manuka Honey and Marufa Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. I used to, in the beginning, use the ORS Coils Unleashed Moisture Treatment, but as my hair grew, as it got thicker, that became a bit too, um, 
too lightweight for my hair so that's why i say using this one because this is i found to be very very thick and good for my hair my hair absorbs it properly and really does leave my hair feeling very moisturized i either use this and i tie my hair and keep it for like an hour or two or i go under the steamer for 20 minutes and then use leave it on for an extra 30 minutes after one hour again after just to Make sure my hair is very moisturized again as i'm saying these things i'm realizing that maybe i'm doing a bit too much when it comes to moisture even if i do always protein wash and moisture but with the protein treatment of course i put a little bit of kick of moisture and with the moisture i don't i do i really moisturize my hair so what i need to stop doing is putting a little bit of kick of moisture into the protein treatment and really just do a protein treatment and a moisture treatment and to figure out how i'm going to do this but yeah these are all my staple products i'm just sharing with you and how i do them right now um and then next is my styling products of course you know my babies i've been using them ever ever since my little babies my little babies my little babies <laughs> This the Kinky Curly Not Today Natural Leave-In and Detangler, my Grapeseed Oil, and my Jane Carter Nourish and Shine Restorative Butter. It's actually a mix of mango and shea butter. I have said so much about this product in all my videos. I have raved about it. It's I can't say too much not sponsored nothing but these products and exactly in this order on wet hair i apply the kick curly after this i apply the grapeseed oil and after this i apply the butter the nourish and shine i follow the lock method and my hair just feels so moisturized i feel so passionate about it but whenever i speak about it but genuinely i can't emphasize how much these products have been so useful and so beneficial in my healthy hair journey. I don't think I'll ever ever use anything else apart from this. My oil is grapeseed oil. Um, I'll list the I'll list here the benefits of this oil. It's so good. It's and I use a hundred percent of course, hundred percent grapeseed oil. I don't use anything else. This is it. This again, as I said, is made of mango and shea butter. It's also so. Oh my god. I think there's a new one. It smells so good. Apparently, you can also use it on your body. I've never done that because I use coconut oil on my body, but yeah. So good and so. It just melts, melts right into your body. Into your hair. But it's the best. Best, 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 best. <laughs> and then. My kick curly nut stay. This is a water based um, leave in conditioner. It is lightweight, but at the same time, it's thick. I can't explain it because sometimes, as I said, with the moisture, with the, as I was talking about with the deep conditioning treatment, it was too lightweight. It was not good enough. But this is lightweight, but enough, but still thick enough. Just the mixture. Of these three products together I just leaves my hair very i've talked too much about this <laughs> let's move on you already know the drill i love this product so much and uh, last, lastly is the sunny style extra dark jamaican back cast oil well really it doesn't have to be extra dark it could be just dark i don't use the ones with the flavor in it but jamaican black castor oil i have to be honest that i normally mix this in my dip in my protein treatment on my deep conditioner sometimes and sometimes i use it on my scalp not as option as i should be using because one of my issues and i need to fix this here is my dry scalp my hair is always moisturized but, my, but i do have very very dry scalp and i need to fix that and i'm going to be fixing that this year with this i have it but i don't use it as often as i should on my scalp um we all know the benefits of castor oil again i'll list that here it's very thick so it helps your hair grow and it helps seeing those edges i don't have baby hair but i do have some edges <laughs> that i don't want to lose so this is one of the products that i use on my edge and i should actually take it more to my scalp and i'll be doing that a lot this year um, and that's it guys that's it guys that's my um favorite products my staple products that i use 
or I have been using since I said my healthy hair journey. I hope you can take one or two things from this um, video. And if you use any of these products, please let me know how it works for you and if you like it. If you use them and you didn't like it, tell me and share with how you felt and why you didn't like it. Um, as I said, this year I'm going to be making 12 videos and I have a couple of ideas and I would like you guys to give me more ideas or tell me which one you would like to see next. Um, I wrote them down. I have an idea to recreate a makeup look on a beginner. I am not a makeup artist. I don't know how to do makeup very well, but I do do my makeup sometimes. So I was thinking about making a video where I kind of like re recreate a makeup look and you can see how a beginner does it. So I thought it would be a nice funny video. Even if my channel is about hair, but just something to throw in there. Um, I also have the idea to do a wig review. I have a couple of wigs that I, maybe I would like to review. Let me know if you like to see that. And then I would like to do maybe a story time. I don't know if you saw on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, also follow me. On my Instagram, I I was sharing when I was in the southern in Nigeria. And if you like, I just kind of like to tell you my story and how the whole experience was. I was thinking about doing the story time. So, um, if there's any video that you'd like to see, let me know. If any, if any of these ideas interest you and you'd like to know, please let me know down in the comments. And then I'll be doing them, as I said, 12 videos this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Um, I wish you guys a blessed 2018. See you in the next video. Bye. Oh, you're gonna make me cool.